<laughs> you want to push the start button? You just lift that little lever up and push Go it? Go ahead, man. I'll just watch. Okay. It's got the V12 in it? Or? Yeah, it V12. Sweet. Yeah. Yep. Good. You don't have a cast on anymore. Oh, you see me with my cast? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't have the car hardly any. And, uh, and <laughs> it was, uh, I broke it. Yeah. I fell off a pier a couple of months and rebuild one. What'd you do for a living? Well, I was, uh, I'm retired from the Air Force. I was a flight engineer on AC 130 gunships, if you ever heard of those. No, but it sounds interesting. And then, uh, then I've been working on Army helicopters here, like as an electrician doing modifications on helicopters. But I haven't worked in the last two years just because, uh, with uh, being military and being able to get disability and Social Security and everything, I'm, I'm all right, which is a good thing. Okay. That's, that's awesome. Oh, oh, excellent. I definitely want to see. So, what kind of cancer did you get? I had melanoma, uh, and I had a mold removed when I was in the Air Force in 2008. They never came back and told me it was positive for melanoma. Oh, my so, goodness. uh, 2019, summer 2019, and, uh, I had a, like a golf ball in my armpit from my one left nose swell up. That's what really kicked it all off. So, yeah, about 10, 11 years in between a small spot to full blown stage four. So, it was in my adrenal gland, it's like the size of a basketball. In my armpit. So, they didn't even tell you you had cancer? No, no, no. I, no I, uh, so, I found out. Okay, so what the military started doing, it used to be all paper records, you know, a file jacket like you see when you go to the doctor or you go to the dentist or whatever. But they started using a computer. So some stuff goes in the computer, some stuff just goes in your paper records. I think they're supposed to take a print out of what they put in the computer and put it in your records. That didn't happen. So during all this, I was seen at uh, Crestwood, not Crestwood, uh, Fox for a little bit by one of the Army doctors. And like I was going there complaining of ch side pain and all this stuff. Oh, just fatty liver, you know, and had a ultrasound. And they said, yeah, it's a fatty liver. I'm like, man, I still got some sharp pain. Something's not right. And then, you know, few months after that is when all my lymph nodes popped out in my armpit. So, anyway, I went back and asked them for all the paperwork. They gave me a disc. And that disc went back as far as they had a history on me on the computer. And that's where I found the, uh, the biopsy report from 2008 when they, uh, where they, the mole was checked and it was found positive for melanoma says they tried to contact me and they never were able to get a hold of me. Oh, bull crap. You know, there's different ways to get a hold of people in the military. You know? Oh, just walk in there to me. Yeah. Well, I was deployed to Afghanistan when I had the mold removed. And even if it didn't make it back to me over there, they should have found my home base and should have let them know at a minimum, you know? Absolutely. But you're doing good now. They got to, they got to took you out and taken care of. Oh it. yeah, yeah. That's it's a uh, used immunotherapy and it shrunk it down. Uh, I only had to have five lymph nodes removed, and that was from the biopsy this time. Uh, they used immunotherapy and shrunk it down, and then the uh, the one that was like a basketball, the, the adrenal gland. They, shrunk it down and it got to uh, like a baseball size and they pulled it out and so and again in the, uh, the medication I said switch to uh, targeted therapy and uh, it's been pretty good you know not too bad as far as I know I'm kind of in ED right now but I uh, just hit there you know what do you mean ED? Uh, no 
eleven and some C's. Oh, nice, excellent, good. So that's what on the scans you can't find any. Well, that's excellent. Yeah. I'll probably be taking the medication the rest of my life. What do you have? I got CLL. Still got it. Chronic leukemia. I take yeah. like a oral pill every day. Yeah. Just one. Just one. Yeah. Got one a day. I did work with a couple of conventional forces, uh, but that's usually when you don't have any other work to do. Like, they'll have, hey, if some Marines got in trouble out there, go see what you can do for them, you know? They don't know how to work with us. They haven't been trained. So, we'll just, we'll say, hey, your enemy's over here. We can see him. Do you want us to take care of it? And they either say yes or no. <laughs> then we just go to town. So we can work, uh, what they call kinetic. We don't have to have anybody on the ground to do our job. But if there's any friendlies in the area, we will have somebody on the ground. You wanna go get gas from me or you wanna go back? No man, well, I'll ride as long as you wanna drive. Okay, well, let's go, let's go some gas. We gotta check the G meter on one of those pulls. Okay, maybe we slip back by the ground. Yeah, we gotta get gas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get gas. How much gas does this thing hold? Not very much. You're buying, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I will. I'm, no, I'm joking. I will. I'm 100% joking. So how often do you drive this thing? Uh, about twice a week. Once once a week for cancer riding and once a week for me to go play with. Oh, oh my god. We have enemy QRF approaching. Zero, zero meters. He'd be like a Navy SEAL. 
they're using a laser and marking the target like a like we're ready to come around the mountain. We got people that take pictures of this. Oh, man. Dude. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Doing good. You're all right. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Thank you so much. You got over it yourself. I bet this thing can go, can it? It does. Yeah, I was watching you. I said you yeah. yeah. Yeah, this thing is amazing. Where'd you get it from? Uh, Las Vegas. Wow, does yeah. it happen to be the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Look us up on YouTube and see what I do. You'll like it. Yeah, yeah smile, a smile a while. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> Deal with that all the time. All the time, yeah. Lock down my gun. Put the shirt down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ray. Thank you, thank you. You want to take some pictures? Yeah, actually. Okay. We can get, we'll get out of the parking lot and show this to you later. You're fine. That's I, I made a rule when I bought it because uh, I said anytime I people want to talk, I'm gonna talk to them. If I, yeah. if I take it out, I gotta have time. Yeah. I don't want to be the jerk, you know. Oh, yeah. What'd we get to? It, it only like 0.5. 0.5? That, that can't be right. You're at 1G. Well, I'm trying to remember you. I know that doing a barrel roll in an airplane is a 1G maneuver because if you keep it at 1G, then all the fuel and all the oil doesn't slosh and stays where it's They're supposed to. They're not hit. Oh my god, he got over. Do what? I thought that Prius was going to hit the other car because it wouldn't stop uh -oh. So if you're doing a barrel roll, all the, the stuff what? If you if you get a if you're going to do a barrel roll on an aircraft, it's a 1G maneuver. So when the uh, 707 Sosso, our tanker, KC-135, when it first came out, the test pilot rolled a 707, you know, barrel rolled it. And uh, I guess the owner of Boeing is like, hey, just because you can do it doesn't mean you have to, you know. But C-130s aren't meant to go upside down. The way the oil pickup is in the tank, it's like a hose that lays in there. So if you go upside down, the hose won't go down, won't go all the way up, and the oil will be on the top side of the tank. So you lose oil pressure if you shut down your engines in flight. But if you keep 1G on it, it'd be fine. We, we just never do that. No. <laughs> no. C-130. Cool. That car just went right in front of that other one. Oh. <laughs> Just, People are driving crazy today. Just went. In the summertime, the windows are down. That popping and stuff is so loud. Yeah. Do you have the, uh, the button to like? Well, no. It's probably just the sound it is, right? Uh, if I put it back into Strata, it's not. It's not as loud. Okay. It's just like a comfort mode. And it's a, it, I, I believe it's only six cylinders instead of the V12 then when you... I had a buddy that, I can't remember what kind of car he had, but he had the cutouts put on where you can open the valve. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you really only open the straight pipes to make it louder. And when you close them, it goes through the, uh, the mufflers. Yeah, there, I have, my uncle has a Ferrari and he has that button on here. Yeah. Yeah, we got three cars now. Actually, we got four cars, two Audi R8s, a Ferrari, and this that are all interested in doing the ride. So well, that's it's cool. going to be like pick your pick your car that you want to ride in. That's awesome. I would love to be on that ship with that plane with you, Leo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love to be on there. Oh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. You know what I mean? It can be a lot of boring at times, you know, going back and forth, or if you're over an op where you know you're not going to shoot, you just you got to watch them, you know. Like, let's put it this 
way a lot of the guys on the ground as long as we were overhead the enemy wasn't gonna act up they could see you they could at the beginning they didn't know what we were like they thought we were a spotter plane for artillery coming over the hill and then we dropped leaflets and said hey this is what's killing you you know we've got a death ray and all this stuff you know okay so it's an AC-130 gunship. The infrared ball is on the nose and the low light camera system is in what used to be the crew and door of C-130. Uh-huh. Used to have 20 millimeter Gatling guns in those windows and 7.62 mini guns up here. So we only have a 40 millimeter and 105 millimeter. The reason we don't have 20s and 7.62s is because you got to be below 2,000 feet for them to be effective. Which one's you on that picture back there? Because um, my eyes are so bad. I'm right here in the, the bottom the, center, believe it or not. Right by her. By her. Well, no, over one. You're so. the tall one right here. Yep, I'm the you tall one. You lost a lot of weight. Yeah. So I was around 300 pounds. Quick, just get out. Yeah, to, yeah. If you move your head, you get a Lamborghini right behind your head. Oh. If you can slide there, you, one way. There you go. There you go. Nice car. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Oh, the carbon fiber everywhere. Yeah, Good. I, I take a picture of it, man. I saw yeah. you earlier. Yeah, you take all the pictures you want, bro. So let me tell you how to get out, cause I don't think you've got out yet. Okay. So there's a little black button right here on your side. Yeah. Push it down, pull the silver lever up, and then just lift the door. Okay. You too, buddy. Right. Thank you.